Hello everybody, this is Chris with Overclockers Club. All of these cameras are different, but what if I told you there's a way to collect video from all of these cameras and store it in one place? And you don't have to have 10 different apps on your phone. Well, there is a way to do it, but you need one of these. This is the new Camect. Now this little box here is just a prototype, so the one that you would purchase would look a little different. In fact, it would look a little more like that. So over the last few years I've reviewed a lot of cameras, and the one thing uh, that all of them seem to have in common is they all have their own proprietary app. Uh, very few of them can you share more than one camera. So that means that on your phone or even on your PC, if you have the PC client, uh, you have to spend a lot of time flipping through trying to remember which cameras are on which app. Uh, unless you buy all your cameras from one supplier, which sometimes that's hard to do. Anyway, this Camec box here, uh, this system stores all of your video feeds, all of your information is right here. It's not on some server in a foreign country. It's all right here stored securely and safely. And this little box is really like a mini PC. And again, like I said, this is the prototype. So uh, the one that you would purchase doesn't quite look like this, but really it's a processor and memory and a little tiny motherboard and a little hard drive in there. So uh, that's really what is working with the special Camex software. And that really, the software is the brains behind the whole system. So which cameras work with this system? Well, Camex has a really nice frequently asked questions uh, page. Also, they have a listing of all the known cameras that work, and there are quite a few. But generally speaking, any IP camera and uh, any camera that's on VIF compliant, ONVIF, it's a communication protocol, as long as they're compliant with that, you shouldn't have any problems. So all the cameras you see here, they work fine with this system. I've got several more that are mounted outside uh, that also work with the system. Now, little tiny battery-powered cameras uh, a lot of times they don't work with this. In fact, I haven't found one yet that works with it. And they're really set up to record incrementally and not do continuous recording. So uh, those probably won't work. But any IP cameras, you shouldn't have any problems. So one of the great things about this Camect system is that all the information is stored within the Camect unit. It is not stored on offline servers anywhere. So here it is. You get these little notices. Uh, it picked me up coming down the driveway. So you get a little notice that says a person was detected. Or it also picks up other objects. So for example, here is a UPS truck as it's leaving my driveway. And you get these notices because you have the ability to help CAMEC learn. So if it misidentifies something, you can let it know. Or if it identifies something correctly, uh, you can also let it know. And that information is used to make future decisions. So here's a cat walking across the driveway. Here's a USPS truck or a mail truck. Uh, leaving the driveway, and again, it can accurately detect these things. Uh, animals also, as well as people. Now, here's another one where it picked up a person at a fair distance from the camera, but it was able to determine that this was indeed a person. And again, you have the ability to, uh, through these little notices, uh, tell it if the object that it uh, detected was correct or not. And again, CAMEC can learn from that. So this is the CAMEC interface that you access with your Chrome browser, you can see I have four cameras set up here. And this one here is a pan and tilt camera, so I can double click on the little arrows here and move the camera around. So I can go back and forth with that. And I click this one, or there's a little bit of lag on this camera. I'm not sure what's going on with it. It was working fine the other day, so I don't know if I've got some network issues or what going on here. But anyway, you can see how I can uh, access and control the cameras. Now, if I double click on it, it takes me into the high resolution view, the full screen view, and then double click on that, brings it back. Uh, along the bottom here is your timeline. So I can click anywhere along the timeline here and I can just sort of hop around different times of the day. And then you click here to go back to the current live view. And then the little wrench here takes you into your camera settings and your alerts. This is really cool. You can customize your alerts, which is really nice. That's really the heart and soul here of the CAMEX system. Down here at the bottom, uh, I've got the cameras that are disabled. You can show or hide them. 
like that or hide them. Now I'm always bringing cameras on and offline so this number changes for me all the time. And then this here, you click on this and it will look for cameras on your system uh, that you can add and populate your screen with. Now the next thing that's really cool here is if you click the little bell here, this is your alerts. So I can go back through here and see what it was looking at and what it selected as an alert. So I can scroll down through here and you can look at the different dates. So you can see this other camera picked me up walking down the driveway the other night. Here it picked out a truck. Picked out another pickup truck there. There's a person, so it caught me. So this one right here, for example, says person. Now there's no person there. So this is an example of one that I would flag as uh, it didn't identify something correctly. And this is how it learns. So you can see here, it picked out car, picked out a person. I must have just walked off the frame there. Over here, it picked out a car. Here's another person. Something really cool here is that your smartphone, whether it's an Apple or an Android, uh, you can access all of your camera feeds and all the playback through your smartphone. So you have the same functionality as you have with your PC app. So right now, for example, uh, I've got the alerts turned on. So as it identifies an object, you have the option to either give it the green thumbs up or the thumbs down, the red thumbs down. And this is all part of the learning process for CamX. So the more it learns, the more opportunities you give it to make a... Uh, basically a selection on whether it selected the proper alarm or if I identified it properly, the smarter Cam Act gets. So I can double click here on this feed and it goes into a full screen higher resolution mode. And tap that again twice and you go back and you can look at all your different cameras. So this is really a nice feature and you have, like I said, all the same uh, access to all the settings here are the alerts that you can customize, all the same features. So this is really nice. All right, so this little CamEx box here is really nice. It does everything it says it will do. And really, there's nobody else out there doing that. This is the only one that I know of that functions the way it does as far as collecting all of your information from multiple cameras and particularly storing it safely and securely right here in one location. It's all right here in this box. It's not being sent out to some server in another country. You don't have to worry about that. Now keep in mind, this is a prototype. This does not look like the unit that is currently shipping. Now the other really cool thing about this is the way the AI software works. Uh, the alerts that you get allow you to sort of select which things you want to see, which things you don't want to see, and it learns from that. So every time you interact with it, it gets a little bit better. So you get fewer of the things you don't want to see and more of the things that you do. Now I'll go ahead and post the links to the Indiegogo site as well as the CamEct uh, website so you can sort of look at the feature set in more detail and get current pricing. And like I said, there's really nobody else out there doing it the way these guys do it. This is an amazing little box. So I would give this the Overclockers Club Editor's Choice Award. So this is Chris with Overclockers Club. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.